Hello all. So I loaded up uh, Android 7.1 on this uh, Raspberry Pi 3 and I thought I'd do a video about it to show you how it could be done. And uh, as most of you know, Android has been slow to come to the Raspberry Pi and there's been, there's a lot of packages out there you can install and everything, but there's, there's actually a, a good one that I found that's working very well, at least for me so far. And uh, just to give you a quick look, uh, it doesn't come with a lot installed, but it comes with all the basics, which is really nice. It's got a browser, uh, some basic things. It doesn't come with the Play Store, but uh, you know you could you can install any APK just by going through it. I I downloaded and installed uh, Terrarium TV, and uh, actually it's working really nice. Nice little setup. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Terrarium TV, but it's uh, it's basically uh, very similar to Kodi. It's APK. There's some other popular APKs out there. And this is basically uh, Terrarium TV running on it, and it, it works really well. If you like Kodi, that's another thing. You can check out my other videos. I show you how to install uh, Kodi on a Raspberry Pi 3 too, which technically you could run uh, Kodi on this install. Uh, you could run Terrarium TV and Kodi on an Android OS, so you could just go to the main uh, Kodi download page and go to and click on Android, download the 32-bit, and it should stall. I haven't I haven't tested it on this. I I usually use OSMC, but uh, as I said, you can check out my other videos on that. But that's basically it uh, there and how that's running. Let me go ahead and show you the version it's running so you get an idea on what's uh, going on here. I, I'm gonna be putting all the links in the description too, and uh, I'll do a written tutorial. So if you have any questions about it, uh, check the description. Go and click here and about. And as you can see, it's Android uh, version 7.1.2. Uh, it's running on a Raspberry Pi 3, and it's uh, got a modified version of Lineage, o uh, Lineage OS version uh, right there. Um, but uh, that's basically it. And if you want to see how to install it, stick around, and I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, as you can see, this is the Raspberry Pi 3, and uh, I got a SD card inserted inside of here. It's 8 gigabyte, but you can't go up to a 32 gigabyte SD card if you wanted to. But uh, we need to write the package to this SD card. So to do that, I'm going to switch over to a Windows 10 computer, and I'll show you how to write the Android TV package to this SD card. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, and this is the website that we need to go to to download the file. Uh, I'm not sure how to say that. It's called constacagking.com. Uh, however you say it, I'll put all the links inside the description, too, uh, in case you need them. But uh, this is the file right here, so I'm going to go and click over here and click on it. And I'm going to go and click here to download. And then it's got all these different mirrors that you could get for the closest one to you. I'm just going to go click the primary one here. Let's say save file. Okay, so the file got done downloading, which uh, if you run a Windows, you know it'll be inside of downloads. Uh, so here it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it, put it inside of uh, on the desktop here inside of a folder. And it needs to be extracted, so whatever you're using, I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to right-click, click Extract All, and have it extract right to here. Uh, whatever you're using, uh, though, just uh, be sure to extract the file. Okay, and once the file gets done extracting, it'll be inside of a new folder, which you could look at, and you can see it. it's right there. Don't touch it. Just leave it alone. That's the image file, and we're going to need to write it to an SD card. So... I got this on the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And uh, I we're going to need image writing software. I use Win32 Disk Imager. Uh, it's free. If you already have uh, image writing software, just use that. If not, then uh, download this. It's free to use. And uh, like I said, I'll put all the links in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in my SD card here. Use Win32 Disk Imager. I'm just going to click this little folder icon right here, and just direct it to where uh, the image file is. I put mine on the desktop, so uh, 
That's where it's going to be. Wherever yours is, just direct it to the image file that we just got done extracting. And oh, and it should be on the drive. Yours probably will be say like G or something like that. Just be sure it's the on the SD card and not some other card because it'll override any anything it's on. Uh, I do have that SD card. It is inserted on D, so that's going to be for me. But double check, verify that it, it's on the correct drive letter. And then I'm just going to click right. It's going to tell you that's going to overwrite anything on there. Somebody say yes. And it's going to go out and write the Android TV package to the SD card. So uh, it takes it a minute. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so it got done writing, and as soon as you see it, it'll just pop up, say, write successful. It, it takes about five minutes to write, depending, I guess, on your computer speed. But uh, this one took about five minutes, and uh, that's it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the computer off, pop it off, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, and I got it all written to this SD card, this little 8 gigger. And I'm going to go ahead and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. Make sure it's in there good. And I'm going to hook everything up that I need to. I'm going to hook up a keyboard. I'm using a, a mouse. And I'm going to hook it up to this TV. All right, and I should be able to go ahead and power it on. I need to adjust this where it can be seen. And it takes it a few uh, moments to load up. It's got this logo uh, that comes up. So I just have to wait for it to do its little boot sequence. And since it takes it a moment, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this little uh, boot thing. But if it takes it a few minutes, then just let it run until it pop comes up. Okay, so it took it like around, I don't know, it took a little bit, maybe five minutes. It was kind of stuck on that logo loading. Just let it run. And uh, it's popping up to its big main logo here. Down here on the right, I got next. So I'm going to click on next. And I'm go ahead and keep it on English, United States. And it's got a section here where I can connect to my Wi Fi. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Wi Fi. All right, so I'm connected. And down here on the right, it's got next button again. So I'm going to click next. All right, so it has some basic questions. I'm just going to click down on the right, say start. And there it is. So uh, the main apps that it comes with, it, it doesn't come with a whole lot of apps, but as you know, the, those are easy to get. Go ahead and move this over so you can see here. But uh, it comes with some basic apps. You know, it comes with the browser, which is pretty much all you really need. You can go out and download any APK, like Terrarium TV. I, I loaded up Terrarium on here, and uh, it, it ran really well. Um, uh, you know, you got File Manager, Gallery, Recorder, uh, and Settings. Let's go ahead and go into Settings for a minute. And you can go down to the About... on a about tablet and as you can see it's a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, Android 7.1.2 and it's got the lineage OS version right there so th that's basically it um, if you got any questions uh, go ahead and ask me I'll put all the links inside the description below and uh, along with uh, a link to a written tutorial if you need that but that's basically it and um, how to install uh, an Android operating system to uh, a Raspberry Pi 3.